Good morning! How your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin am doing? And your hubby too. How y'all living, fam? It is Thursday up in this motherfucker, okay? Up in this biatch. And uh, yeah, y'all, it's early in the morning. Early in the morning, can't talk today. Doggies are outside and getting some air and shit. And uh, they've already eaten for the day. I myself am about to eat my damn self. And I told y'all I would show y'all some of the stuff that I, um, I'm going to try to make it a point to eat in the mornings, which you guys know, I am going to try to incorporate um, some shakes into my my day-to-day -day eating, okay? So, where the hell did I put all of them all down here? Um, anyway, so yeah, going to pretty much start doing that. And just to kind of make sure that I'm getting my fill of nutrients and shit if you guys didn't see yesterday's vlog that is what it's referring to and I'll show you guys what I got from the stove so check out yesterday's vlog if you have not yet um, but all in all I am basically going to start incorporating a couple of shakes a day if I can that um, I'm gonna use as like meal replacements just to kind of detox I feel like these last couple weeks have been just chaotic and um, I was going to do um, I was looking into Body by Vi and our V or whatever you say um, in Herbalife, but they're kind of pricey, you know? And I mean, I can get them, but I'm just kind of like, you know what? I know I can do something that's a little bit different, that's a little bit cheaper. And actually my girl, China Renee, hey boo boo if you're watching, she actually recommended um, that I use Slim Fast shakes and just incorporate my ingredients in there because you guys, if any of you guys know anything about Slim Fast, I actually did it years and years and years ago. Um, just, just to drop a few quick pounds, this is not a healthy option. Do not do the Slim Fast plan unless your doctor or something like that recommends you do a liquid diet. Um, it's, I can't do the Slim Fast plan. It's basically two meals are replaced with the shake. And then um, after that, you have a sensible dinner, of course, a couple snacks in between. But back in the day day, it used to be um, two Slim Fast shakes and then your meal. And there was maybe one snack in between. It was totally different. But now, you know, with the changes with, you know, um, doctors coming out with different things regarding, you know, you needing snacks and a certain amount of protein and carbs and all that kind of stuff, they changed their plan. Um, so now it's two meal replacements. So breakfast and lunch will be replaced by a shake. And then you'll have two sensible snacks in between. And then of course have your sensible dinner, which is I think 500 calories. Okay. Your dinner. That being said, that's not what I'm doing. I'm basically using the Slim Fast shakes as my base for my shakes because Slim Fast shakes actually have a good, decent amount of protein. Of course, I have my protein that I'm going to add to my shakes as well to add more protein because I need more since I lift. And it has a lot of, you know, vitamins and stuff, which is pretty dope. So it's essentially basically just cheating my way through um, not having to get body by via Herbalife because reality is a lot of these shakes have some of the same ingredients. And so I'm going to make it even healthier and even heartier by incorporating my own ingredients so that it's not it's so it's filling more more filling for me because I can't just do these shakes so I actually got two sets of shakes I got vanilla and I got chocolate so that I can give myself a little bit of variety on the day-to-day because -day like I'll get bored so here is the um, vanilla on the right and of course the chocolate on the left and uh, that's what I'm gonna be using as my base these are the powder shakes and then of course I got my blender here I've got my spinach here I've got my frozen strawberries and of course I've got bananas over there and I'm basically going to use these items to make my shakes on the day-to-day -day. so I'm gonna meal replace two of my meals with shakes for now in the interim and um, of course I've got my chia seeds because that's the kind of stuff that I want to incorporate in the shakes to make them a little heartier and of course healthier and um, sometimes I'm gonna incorporate kale, sometimes I'm gonna put mangoes, I have pineapples, I have mangoes, I've got strawberries, I've got bananas. So I'm gonna try to see how this works. Literally, I'm not doing this for very long, but I do feel like I just need to kind of like flush my system out. So I'm gonna make a chocolate strawberry banana shake, and that's gonna be my, my um, first meal of the day. Uh-oh, let's see, what's up, hold on. So, yeah. <laughs> Gizmo got out, and he's been getting out of his, out of his harness. I'm gonna have to get him a smaller harness, as you guys can see, my pooches are right here, boo-boos. My little boo-boos, yes, yes, yes. Anyway, Gizmo got out of his harness. This is the, probably the third or fourth time he's done it. Somehow or another, he, ha he has a way to get out. And the harnesses I have on them are small, like the size small, but I think I'm gonna have to go back to extra small for Gizmo because he gets out of it, and it's very hard to, I don't know if you guys have messed with these harnesses on these dogs, the kindness that I have. 
they're hard to tighten. They're kind of difficult to, to maneuver. I actually had to go to PetSmart a while back, if you guys remember, for them to get them tightened. And he still gets out of it. So he didn't chew through it or anything. So this is the second harness I've put on him in the last week that he's gotten out of. I, I, but anyway, the good thing is, is that um, Gizmo, that's why I heard the door. He was at the door, like, motherfucker. Uh, Desi's still on the, on, the, on, the, on the leash, you know what I mean? So at least he stayed in the yard. And he's been doing that the last couple of times he's gotten out. I'm telling you, these dogs are smarter than you think. Somehow he gets out, yeah. Yes, baby. I love you. Anyway, all right, let me go ahead and take care of these dogs. Okay, disregard the mess, but this is what my shake looks like. Of course, I used the chocolate powder, and then what I did was I put some of the chia seeds in it. Chia seeds, okay? And then I put some spinach. I also put some of the chocolate um, almond milk, which is actually really good. It's just very chocolatey, so if you like chocolate, you know, that's like double the chocolate, basically. And then I used strawberries. I did not put banana in this one. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I did the spinach already. So, yeah, that's it. And it actually tastes really good. It's just extra chocolatey. And I'm so used to vanilla because of the protein shakes I've been drinking. So this is going to take a second to get used to. But um, the good thing is, is that I have all my nutrients in there. What's up, y'all? So yeah, y'all, I don't know if you noticed anything different about my face. Granted, I haven't done anything with my hair. I took my head off and blah, blah, blah. However, can you tell? Doo -doo. The eyes are different, maybe. I don't know if you guys can tell in light. Over here with my girl, Laren. Hey, boo. <laughs> don't mind this hair. Uh, she's conditioning. She's doing a um, henna treatment, or she did a henna treatment, uh -huh. which she was telling me about and I know nothing about, but she did it. It's supposed to help stretch your hair. We don't know. Anyway, so we're over here at uh, the mall at Victoria's Secret because there's a semi-annual sale going on, which never, yeah, she's trying to get some draws. Mama needs some draws. Mm-hmm, she's trying to get the sexy fat kind for her boo-boo. <laughs> so yeah, I've never ever shopped at Victoria's Secret at their semi-annual sale. I always get it when it's hell expensive, but I don't really shop at Victoria's Secret a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah, yeah, this is the time to shop for it. So, if you guys didn't know, there was the semi annual sale at Victoria's Secret. Happens a couple times a year, I think, right? Anywho, we just went to um, Bravo, which, if you guys are in St. Louis and you have not been to Bravo, and if you don't know about their happy hour, it's off the damn chain. It is, everything is super cheap. There's like four and five and six dollar drinks. They have like a four, five, six dollar drink menu, and then they have four, five, six dollar. Um, food menu and they're small plates but they're extremely filling so we just had that and got a chance to catch up and stuff by the way I already told everyone that you got a promotion hey, hey Lauren got her promotion at her job Thank you. yay hard work pays off so stick yes. to it whatever you're working towards yes so I'm so proud of her okay Thank you. so yes so we had to catch up since she got her promotion, which we're gonna celebrate on Saturday. Yeah. Since she doesn't have as much time today to partake. Because mom and Yeah. But a boo-boo. Okay. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so um, Saturday, I didn't even know if I even mentioned this. Oh yes, we'll have a boo. So Tyron has a big fight on Saturday. He's fighting the um, he's the number three contender. He's fighting the number two contender. And uh, he's gonna be in Canada, which is why we're not going. However, we're going to be watching on Saturday, so all of us are going down to watch him fight. And um, so it should be awesome. So if you guys are watching, or if you guys are going to watch, um, or had, didn't know anything about it, watch it. I think it's going to be pay-per-view, obviously. And, uh, oh, bra, 34. My size. Girl. Oh, cute. Ma'am. Ooh, this is cute, y'all. I've been really... Um, looking at some really risque um, swimsuits. But look at this underwear, it's cute. It kind of reminds me of the swimsuit I just got, which I'm hoping I, I fit, because I ordered it online. I will let you guys know. I actually put up a swimsuit recently on Instagram, and uh, she showed what it looked like on, and it has bitch across the, the, um, the titties. And it's bottom, I love it. It's just a white swimsuit, one piece that has bitch across it, and I love it. And then I got another one that's coming, but it won't show up until July. I'll show that to you guys on Instagram, probably. Um, but yeah, just getting a few things in for Vegas. The goal is Vegas. As you all know, we're celebrating our 10 year anniversary, so. Then I got another swimsuit, it's green. I'll show y'all when I get it. 
Um, you'll probably see on Instagram. I never show my swimsuits on on YouTube. I don't even do one. I don't know. Um, but you'll see it on Instagram. Anyway, anything fun over here? Oh, this is the small. These are for for the ones that have the small waistlines and it's the me. I'm over there. She's got like a little, you know, you know, the number on the bra is your width around. So her width is like four inches smaller than mine because she's got a nice long torso versus mine. My shorter Real torso is small for me. Uh, I'm talking about your like the width Real. around. That's the one thing that sucks is I have no torso. So I have to always, I have to show you what I'm wearing and you'll see why, what I, what I mean. Um, anyway, yeah. I'm not really doing any shopping. I'm just looking around. So, um. Because I did some, I did some damage a couple weeks ago. Oh, that's some good support. That's what I need. This got tons. Oh, I love that. Yeah. It feels like it's awesome. Yeah. I'll be doing all types of stuff. Yeah. That might. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cushiony, y'all. Cushiony. Okay. Ooh, are they all cushiony like this? I can't wear that. I'd be like a quadruple D back to my original size. Girl, yes. And they're 30 something dollars right now, which is not bad because they're normally 65. But 65? Yeah, it's like. That's why you don't see me in no Victoria's Secret. You very rarely see me in here. I'm so frugal, y'all. They're going to. They're going to mark this down by the end of next week. Okay, we need to go then on the third week. But then the thing is, if you wait to like to go, it's all picked through, and all this, all That's the good true. stuff is gone. That's true. So I like to go somewhere in the beginning, because then you can still get your price adjust. Ooh. So, I gotta do is get your price adjust. so you can go like the next week and be like, hey, it went down. Four, I want. They give you 14 days. So oh, I that's good. Go on the 14th day. I always go on that 14th day. See, that's what I'm talking about. See, that's why we get along so well. I mean, not only because we are bosom buddies, but we because we're frugal as fuck. Frugal. Okay. Oh yeah, y'all need to see her Kate Spade. It's off the chisel. Look at how. Amazing. Oh, okay. This bag say hi, Kate. is when I say it's gorgeous and it's beautifully Kate structured. Is, it's just gorgeous. Is that not gorgeous? It's a present for a treat to me from me for my promotion. That's what I'm saying. And I just me and Kate, we just out here mind our own business. That's what I'm saying. Girl Sandy. That's what I'm saying. And uh, him. <laughs> I don't know if I can say him. She's talking about Louie. Yeah, okay. There's old Louis. Hold on. I just on. didn't know if I could say Louis's name on camera. I know this Louis. how shy Louis was. It's, it's Louis. old Louis, though. This, I've had him for a minute. This is Louis. This this one of Louis's brothers. <laughs> you doing okay? Yes, yeah. thank you. Yes. Here, we hang with Louis today. today. I haven't worn my um this bag, this speedy in a while. You not love it. I think it's a speedy 30. I want it's a, either a speedy 30 or 25. I don't remember. It's been a while. I want a classic Louis. Like I don't want like a brand. Yeah. I want like an yeah. old school Louis. You always start, and I say this to everyone who event if you ever get a Louis Vuitton, mm -hmm. start off with the, the standard monogram. Uh -huh. And then Mm -hmm. that, and you know the Damier and mm -hmm. all the other prints or whatever. It's just See, and that's what my, my mom just got one. She got a standard monogram. Mm -hmm. Um Hers was like 1400 It's that size, but it was like 1400 Girl, then when I got the promotion, girl, she was all like, oh, you can get the wallet. It's seven ninety five. I was like, mm -hmm. You might as well get a purse for that much. Said, you can get a purse for that. Exactly. Mm -mm. So why are you playing, mama? Yeah, you see, I ain't got not nam Louis Vuitton oh, wallet well, because they are not cheap. I, I if, I'm, if I would ever, and I haven't bought a Louis Vuitton a long, long time. I'm Keep in mind when I got my, size. oh, go ahead. Keep in mind when I got my Louis, I had a full-time job in corporate America. So... Um, I haven't bought a Louis since, so keep that in mind. But um, but yeah. What are you looking for? For your underwear? Oh, oh, here's the here's largest right here. Largest, largest. Anyway, y'all. All right, we gonna walk around some more. I love all three. And uh, but I'm not those are pretty. Yeah, those are gorgeous. Look at that, y'all. Yellow, mint green. No, I you love, girl, that would be beautiful. These two are gonna be, would be gorgeous on you, yeah. these two. Mm -hmm. Not saying the pit, mint wouldn't be, mm -hmm. but I, I don't know why. This, this I, I don't like those, these but I love I these. I have a bra this color. Oh, you already have this? Have this is this beautiful. Color, but I can use a new one. But I love this. I love these. I like all three of them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see what I kind of paint that kind of match. Okay, what size you looking for? So yeah, they got everything on sale. It's pretty dope. Anyway, we're gonna let y'all go. All right, um. Hey, y'all, it's Cribbo. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy. It's a little late at night tonight because uh, I had a little 
out of the office work function today. So, you know, I got home just in time to watch this sad ass game tonight that uh, Miami lost. And by the way, they're done. There's no way in the world they're going to come back and win three in a row against a good San Antonio team. So, Sunday, you know, I know you San Antonio fans will be celebrating. Hey, I might even have a drink with you because this has been sad. But, uh, Gizmo, where are you going? Come here. Come here. But, yeah. Anyway, I was gone all day, and um, I wanted to make sure I showed y'all something before I, uh, I cut out tonight. Uh, let me just show y'all what I'm dealing with right now. Come here. Oh, besides this, this little guy. Where you going? Huh? Where you going? I just brought them inside from using the bathroom. Although I have a feeling that his buddy is somewhere around here trying to find another spot. Where's your buddy at, man? Huh? Yeah, see? She gives me a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Gizmo knows how to go outside to the bathroom by himself and not run all over the place. He just comes right back. Good boy. Good boy. Desi, we still have to have a little leash around him. But anyway, let me show y'all what I'm dealing with. So, I was telling y'all that, um, I don't know, yesterday I was telling you guys I got to show you something. And today, let's see, what, what can I show you? Well, first of all, this is a result of the Tough Mudder. So, this is on my thigh area, and what does that look like to you, huh? Yeah, and if you if you're having a hard time figuring what that figuring out what that looks like, then uh, see if you can figure this out. I don't know if you can see that very well, but this looks like something I had about five six years ago, which is called poison ivy. I put some uh, I put some of that pink lotion around my my knee area, my right below the knee area, so you can barely see it, but you can kind of see the you know where the uh, marks are and it looks like sumac or poison ivy is what they call it but I got some more on my back I got a little bit on my upper thigh and I got a little bit around my waist and I think I got some on my arm too right there I just saw that forming a little while ago but I started noticing this about two or three nights ago I started itching in the middle of the night and I couldn't I really didn't know what it was and um I actually looked at it in the bathroom and to me it looked like poison ivy or sumac or whatever you want to call it. So, besides this pink stuff you guys put on here, you know, how long does this stuff take to wear off and, you know, what else do you guys recommend? Because it should be itching, boy, I'm telling you. I think I guess I might have some more on the back of my shoulder because that's starting to itch. But, yeah. Yeah, let me know what y'all be doing, man, because, hey. I think I'm I'm feeling the uh, I'm paying the price for what I just did last weekend, and I'm feeling the after effects of all that you know tainted mud. So if y'all can help me figure out something to do, we going we going we going we going huh? We going man we going. Yeah, if y'all can help me figure out what to do about this stuff, you know, please let me know. If y'all got any better remedies, any home remedies, any quick home remedies, let me know because. I'm not trying to be itching for the next week or two or however long it takes for the stuff to heal. What y'all doing, man? Desi, where you been? Where were you, Desi? Desi, where were you, man? Oh, oh, showdown. Oh, showdown. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. But check it out, let me show y'all what is healing, which is good because, yeah, bam. My blisters healing up good. I'm feeling better, I can walk a whole lot better on my toes now and I'm just thankful this stuff is healing up fast because that shit was hurting. But yeah, anyway, I gotta go put some more of this lotion on my body because it's itching and uh, the dog over here playing with your girl. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, say hello. Yeah, we're playing with you. Gizmo. Oh, Desi. Gizmo. Oh. 
So, save me from the monster. Get her, 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 man, get her. See, these people get so jealous of Desi, it's so fun. Mm -hmm. I thank you, thank you. I know you all love me. I thank you. You're so sweet. Yes, yes. It's okay. Yes, you're my baby boy. You're my baby boy. Yeah, see, while I was watching the game tonight, you know, she had these, <laughs> she had her headphones on watching Netflix. So, yes, you know, she, she didn't miss nothing because that was a terrible game. Like I said before, but anyway. She's been watching Ninjago with me. And Ninjago. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to uh, go put some more of this lotion on and, and put these dogs up and it's time to get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow's the weekend, baby. Oh, yes, you excited? <gasps> There's a spider right there. Look. Oh, shit. How'd he get in there? Hell not from the door opening. Gizmo, go get Attack. it. Go get it. Attack. Attack. Gizmo, go get it. No, I, I, no, I. No, Gizmo. I, 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 no, I, attack. I just. Okay. So you're that's, just. That's an attack dog that's for you. That's what you're going to do. Yeah, he just kind of lays where he lays. You're just going to say, fuck it. Oh, and you're going to put your booty in my face. Don't attack me. You get, go get the spider. Oh, don't let him jump off this couch. Uh, he's, he'll be all right. Juice. Is it Dez? Or Giz? Oh. I'm so glad they're bathed. Oof. Whoa! Really? Because, okay. You got him, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. See, Desi going to get the spider. Do you have to get the spider before it gets us? Yeah, let me go get the spider real quick, y'all. <laughs> we go holla. Manana. Love y'all. Bye. Say bye, Gizmo. Oh, 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 oh. You gonna you gonna make him sound like a dude? Where does he go? Desi, say bye. Say bye, man. Okay. Oh. Well, <laughs> on that note, we're going to get out of here because uh, I got to kill this spider. All right? Peace. So, y'all, your girl Sandy, and it's Fashion Forward Friday. Let me get a hold of these little tatas I got because, you know, they jingling, baby. So, <laughs> here to